Hi my lovables, my name is Leslie Lesejo and this is Leslie Lesejo Live and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's going on today because it, it looks a bit sunnyish, but I think I love this weather. I don't like too much sun, even though I love the lighting that comes with it, but when it's too sunny, it's too hot, and me and hotness. I know I'm hot, but I don't like feeling hot. Well, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna be watching Umkoka. We're gonna be reviewing Umkoka. Hmm? Let's go straight into the episode. Well, the first episode looks like it's going to be very interesting. It looks like uh, Kulegani and his wife are having the last uh, supper or the last breakfast. Because if, if Mkulul goes up that, if that fake Mkulul goes up that mountain, he's not coming back. He is not coming back. So you might as well just cook him a first honey him a feast because I don't know where he will see that feast again so they're having breakfast they're chilling they're talking and uh, Mkululi is in a joyful mood fake Mkululi and his wife is also very joyful like they are very chuffed with themselves like they are happy oh, you know what I wouldn't be happy if I was you, honey. While they are so happy, um, Mpepete, fake Mkululi's mother, walks in screaming. She is praying. She is shouting above her lungs because she is scared for her son's life because she knows what's going to happen to her son if her son goes up that mountain. So they are, they are so bored like that. Beyonce and Jay-Z on the table are so bored like they are looking at that woman like she's crazy and that woman is literally like begging Mtembu to not let him go up that mountain because she knows she knows what's gonna happen up in that mountain let's go to the next scene guys second scene still at the same house that fake Nkulule's house the Pepeta is done praying now she is literally begging Kulegani not to go up that mountain like literally asking him not to go there yo I get Kulegani and the wife are just chilling there like they're clapping hands as if she was putting an act like she was just putting an act there and then she's she's asking she's she's asking him to not to go up there like literally literally on her knees almost on she wasn't on her knees but you get what i'm saying hi kulagani was just chilled she was just saying thank you for your prayers but no thanks my dad Ntembu, was here last night to tell me that i'm prepared to go up the mountain so if Ntembu, i'm sure I'm a I did go but I'm a let's go but I'm a drama. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. All right. I'm so sorry that we were rudely interrupted by my daughter. She's here. So, um, he tells Pepete that his father was here to tell him straight in his eyes that he is ready to go up that mountain. And honestly, my personal opinion, I think Ntembu is tired of seeing everyone struggle with, with this this menace of, of his his own son his own son is a menace he is making sure that everyone's life is miserable so he's like my son come here 
come let me deal with you myself because i can see that these ones like they're trying but they can't get through to you so come here so that you and i can have a man-to-man talk so i don't think big mkuluri is coming back from that mountain ah he's gone he's gone r.i.p fake mkuluri well, the third scene, Uma, Pepete, they're looking for her. Everyone is looking for her. Ukululi, the real Ukululi, and his wife are worried because they can't find Ma. So they are busy thinking about places where she, sh- she could have gone. And when they are thinking, Uma walks right into the house with a worried look, telling them that she went to kulegani and she feels like there is something wrong that's gonna happen and kulegani is so stubborn and he doesn't want to listen to what uma is saying and he's stuck in his own ways of going up that mountain even though he knows even though he, he's being warned that something could happen and he's not taking anyone serious so Pepeta is seriously stressed about this and there's nothing she can do at this point like just let let him go already let let, let him go he's he's he's, he's 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 troublesome he's stressful just go just let him go ah. and the next scene we see umam zobe uh umam zobe is walking into the fake mkululi's house and she's here to congratulate the famous couple because apparently they are so holy and they've done so much in so little time they are so powerful and she is so proud of both of them because they do so much and then she went down on her knees and she sabelat that's well, about Bam Zobe, ne? I don't know what to think about Bam Zobe at this point because Bam Zobe should know better. She's the only person in the church who must know the wrath of Mtimbu. She knows firsthand. Mam Zobe went to, to, I think they went to the ocean to get baptized and she disappeared into the water. And she wasn't found until days later she was under the water mom zobe was in a coma for months she lost everything the family lost almost even lost the house she knows Mtimbu best hand but she's not afraid ne? she's not scared she's she, she she hasn't felt i don't know if she she feels in her heart that Kulegani is the right um, Kululi if she believes it or she believes it because Kulegani forgave her and the real Kululi said I haven't forgiven you for what you did to my father so Kulegani doesn't know what Mam Zobe did to, to his father if he knew <laughs> anyway let's go to the next scene so on the next scene, Sfotia went back to the real church. I remember the last episode he was chased out of the fake church. They figured out that he was the CIA undercover prophet. So now he went back to the real church to explain to the council that actually, guys, I didn't just leave because... I wanted to leave. I was asked to go there to look after Kulegani. It, I, I was on a mission. And you guys can even call Ma, Ma, Mam Tembu. You can, call, you can call her, put her on a speaker and let her explain the whole thing. But um, Soto just told them, oh, you know what? I can see that this guy is telling the truth. And there's no way he would just leave the church i mean Sfoglia is one of the trusted councilmen so he wouldn't just leave jay for the sake of leaving 
and they literally just missed him as well so he missed everybody and everybody missed him back so it was nice it was a nice you know people were having people were, were, were actually very happy that he was back and i'm happy too sprokia belongs in the real church the next scene we are at the fake mkurele's house he is sitting with his councilman and they are discussing his departure so he is telling everyone how excited he is about going to the mountain because he he knows that when he comes back he's going to be the most powerful the most amazing Kululi, yet to live you know so um he was telling them that his mother came in the morning and his mother he feels like the devil is trying to to come to to get it on his way or oh, get a english to stand between him and his his journey and or the devil is trying to stop him rather because his mother came in the mo- in the morning to come and stop her, him to stop him and he feels like satan or the devil is has ha- is using his mother and then ulona kana bara ke mang ntlovu ntlovu said that yena is very ashamed of 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 Kulegani's mother because he's very proud that all his she love all his children the same there's no favorite between his kids and he knows that Pepete has favorites to bo- both his sons caring what am i saying he's got he's got a favorite child and Kulegani is agreeing with what what Ndlovu is saying imagine someone saying that about your mother disrespectful like that in front of the councilman and then you agree with him and then he was like you know what when i come back from that mountain when i come back ha huh, let me just come back when i'll be shining with glory the power will be oh my goodness god god yes as me Oh guys, being a mother. But he but she, she was showing me her, her her test results. She got an ex- exemption in one of you know, I'm so proud of my daughter anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he feels like he's going to be very powerful and he's going to be and 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 his church is going to be the, the 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 best church in South Africa. Let's see if he will even come back. because what what are you even saying are you saying tembo is stupid and you are you are, you are clever oh wow on the next scene yes guys i feel so sorry for the real kululi for zamtolo zamtolo is going through a lot like he's literally sitting in in the prayer room he's praying he's not even eating like his wife just brought him something to eat because he hasn't eaten in a long time he's still praying and his wife is sitting there and telling him hore but you know exactly what to do you can't be sitting here and praying you know you need to do something because if your brother goes up that mountain and he doesn't know what's waiting for him on the other side or on that mountain we don't know what's what could happen to your brother and he was like guys but what else can i do like i've tried i did everything everything that i do is being thrown in my face so i don't know what else you want me guys to do and then his wife told him what something that he should never forget that he is mkululi and he must try until he he, he can get to some some way or get some 
he must try to to to, to the last degree he must just try ah guys and i feel sorry for him like it's so much pressure from all sides of the world and what's gonna happen to this guy what's going to who's taking care of him if he's busy taking care of everyone you know yo guys the sun was literally burning me yo yo Aike, aike. so on the scene we see kulegani well we see kulegani saying his goodbyes to his wife so kulegani is literally like thanking his wife like for being with with him through everything through it all and he feels like this woman has has been through the most with him and i agree they've been through everything together because remember they were both on another church they were on another church like a christian church i don't know if mtembu's I feel like it's a traditional church because they pray to the ancestors. I don't think it's that. Are they Christians? I don't know. So, um, so he's thanking Tembu to convert his wife first, so that she could show him the way. And um, where they are now is because of her and her resilience and her pushing legani to a point where he is at this point so he's literally saying his goodbyes he even went on his knee to 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 tell his wife how much he loves her and the, like he promised her a lot of things that when he comes back he's gonna uh, buy a, a huge house for her and they're gonna live happily ever after and even his son came running to hug him it's goodbye <laughs> it's goodbye i'm telling y'all i'm telling you it is goodbye done he's gone and don't say i didn't tell you because i'm telling you, i've been telling you since the beginning of this episode Gulegani is leaving for good he's not coming back these goodbyes are very suspicious but okay let's go to the next scene so on the scene we see the fake Mkululi and his congregants up the mountain so he finally went up and yeah he's got courage that boy he's got so much courage oh he's just stubborn so he's up there with his congregants because they are gonna leave him there and then come back so he's there telling them that He's going away for three days. Wow, wow. Okay. And after three days, he'll come back very powerful, full of glory. And he promises that their church will go to greater heights. And he also he's, he also asked his, his congregation to look after his wife. Because he's going to be away and he wants his wife to not suffer while he's away so guys and as in teen he has guys in zulu these days like in kumi zulu pela so i don't know guys i don't know what's going i don't know what's going to happen but what i know is something is going to happen and it's not gonna be nice <laughs> someone is not coming back honey that i can assure you for free i can tell you that for free <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait but yeah let's go to the next scene so the last scene we see the real mkululi he was at his own church there was a service going on and he literally left his own church running nobody knew where he was going like everybody he didn't say anything to anyone he just up and left and we see him on the other side we now the next scene is where kulegani is with his congregation at the mountain they are 
they are having their celebration you know because he's he's leaving or they're having their goodbyes rather and while he's speaking to his congregation some colour just comes from nowhere begging Kulegani not to go like literally dragging him asking him not to go up the mountain because he's not allowed to go up there he is not allowed to go up there but knowing Kulegani knowing Kulegani and how stubborn he is he is busy now saying Hore, why why can't I go up there and then this guy tells him, Zamtolo tells him, Hore, if you go up there, you will not come back. You will not return. You will not return if you decide to go up that mountain. And, and he was like, yes, that's, that's, that will be the indication that will show who the real Mkululi is. If I don't come back, then it means you are the real Mkululi. But if I come back, then I'm the real Mkululi can't wait to see the indication in three days i can't wait guys i can't wait like zamtolo literally like begged him like he held on to his robe saying Hor, you are my brother and i love you and i don't want you to go up there because if you go up there we're gonna lose you and he he went up there anyway while he while he was being warned i don't know how many people warned that guy not to go up there but he went anyway i don't know if he's still lulu or he really believes that he is um, cruelly and but johnny johnny i don't understand but it's not for me to understand <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching up until this point. Please assume believe subscribe. Don't watch from outside of the window. Don't watch from across the road. Come here. Come the side of the of the town. We love it here. We love having people here. We are welcoming. We are loving. We are free spirited. We just talk what 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 our mind says we must talk. We don't think before we talk. <laughs> and thank you so much for liking you know i'm so thankful for the views plus but even this video keep on liking it guys because liking make helps the video it helps youtube recommend this video to other people so don't forget to like don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think about this mess honey i don't believe and please guys please share with whoever wherever however and i will see you on the next upload peace